This is my super quick guide to unlocking the DR11 Beam Smasher on Terminus. There are two things you need to do before you're able to start the process for the free window weapon. The first one is unlocking Pack-a-Punch, so that involves activating the three AMP stations around the map and then raising the Pack-a-Punch station out from the water. And the second is to get a gun that has the dead wire ammo modification on it. You can do this for 500 scrap at the ammo arsenal machine. In order to start the process, you want to be standing on the Pack-a-Punch elevator facing in towards the bio lab. When you activate the elevator to go up, you will see in the window in front of you a electrical fuse box. You need to shoot that with your dead wire weapon, then very quickly turn to your right, shoot a second box, and then finally to your right again and shoot a third box. You need to follow the wire into the juggernaut room where you can shoot a fourth box, and then on the outside of that, there is a fifth box and this will open up the laboratory. Inside the laboratory, there is a zombie on the ground. You will need to kill the zombie and pick up the card that it drops, which you will need to open a briefcase in the same room with Elemental Pop. Opening the briefcase will reveal the multi-phasic injector, which you will need to return to the lab and insert into the decoding machine. Next, we will need to turn on three different laptops around the map. First one is underneath the elemental pop room and it's just outside the cave that contains PhD Flopper. The next one is outside the room with Stamina and the last one is outside the room with Quick Revive. You can do these in any order, it doesn't matter. And if you go back to the decoding machine in the lab now, you'll be able to interact with it and three sticky notes will appear with three different symbols that are on the laptop screens. Now, this next part involves some maths, so if you want to have a go at it, I will leave a graphic on the screen, which indicates which symbols relate to what number, and then you can have an attempt at solving the three math equations for yourself, or alternatively, in the description, I will link a couple of websites which people have made, which will make this whole process a lot easier for you. Once you've figured out your three numbers, you need to go back to the decoding machine, interact with it, and input those three values. After you've input the code, the decoder will start to pull information from the multiphasic injector, and after a round has progressed, you will be able to go back to the machine and collect the injector itself. On the screen, there will be a map of Terminus, and it will have an X on it to depict a location. You need to take the multiphasic injector to that location. When you arrive at the location, you will see a coloured orb. I think they're all the same. I think the order is blue, green, purple. Not 100% sure on that. But when you arrive, you can interact with the orb, which will spawn a whole load of zombies. The orb itself will then shoot a zombie, which will empower it. And you need to then kill this zombie and collect the coloured orb that it drops and return this to the orb. Once you've done this two or three times, the orb itself will move to a different island. You can watch it leave and you'll need to make sure you grab the injector, take it with you and follow the orb to the next island. There are three orbs in total. As I mentioned, a blue one, a green one and a purple one. Once you've done this three times, you will be granted the amp munition item, which you can take back to the laboratory. Heading into the back of the laboratory and holding interact onto the crafting table, will allow you to craft the DR11 Beam Smasher. If you like this guide or you thought it was helpful, please like the video, I would greatly appreciate that, and maybe consider subscribing for more Call of Duty or Zombies content as well. On screen just now, I will link the guide to Liberty Falls Easter Egg, and I will also be uploading a guide for the Terminus Easter Egg, which I'll put on screen as well. Thanks for watching.